Hello and welcome back to episode two in the mission making tutorials, guides, walkthrough for UDS. In this second one, we are going to be going over the objectives module or create tasks somewhat in a bit of depth. And I'm also going to be doing three different types of objective just to show you guys some of the techniques I use to make objectives. Very simple ones, but again, yeah, very different. It's up to you guys what type of objectives you want to make. These are just hopefully something that you will learn from and you could, you know, sort of expand on later on. So in the first episode, we got all these markers down, got the AI down. We also placed down the modules needed for a mission. One of those missions, uh, one of those missions, one of those modules was the create task module. Uh, and we're going to be going over that in a little bit of depth. So I already have my mission ideas set out. Uh, I'll go through them now, why not? So the first objective or mission is going to be to clear a roadblock in this area near the church. Uh, it's sort of the first defensive line of the FIA. Second objective is going to be destroy a mortar team up in this construction area. And the third objective is going to be to locate and kill a FIA commander somewhere in this area around the fuel station. So first things first, we'll actually go over the module itself in a bit of depth just to show you guys what needs to be done to make these work. Just double click to open it up. The only area that you're going to need to manipulate at all is the system specific system create task so open that up uh, if it isn't open already this one's already had some pre stuff done to it as well like uh, all playable units will see the task and stuff like that but the things of importance here is task id title description and task type not as important but i'll go over it in a second so task ID needs to be numbered in progression. So task one, task two, task three. If you have two tasks with the same number, let's say task one, task two, task two, both of the twos won't show or only one will show, the other will be broken. So first of all, start with a number. Title, this will be when you hover your mouse over the top of the objective, this will be the name of the objective itself. So we'll chuck in clear road block. Okay, there we go. And description. So when you actually click on the task, it should bring up a little UI box that tells you exactly what is needed for you as players to complete the objective itself. So clear the first line of defense from the FIA at the road walk. Oh, I'll have that as one word. That works, doesn't it? Walk. So there's our description. Don't need to mess with marker, don't need to mess with destination, don't need to mess with state because we don't have objectives that you know give you the UI pop-up to say you have completed a mission. We just have these as sort of just advanced markers uh, with a bit of a description. Now, if you're a boring motherfucker, you can keep your task type as default, but I always change them up, changes the markers on the map, gives it a bit more spice. So this is going to be sort of a, not really a destroy, it's gonna be more of an attack mark, isn't it? So we'll go with attack. Okay, so that's the objective down, but now I'm actually going to build the basics of that objective. So the roadblock, let's have a look here. Go into F1, go to props, go to, let's see, what is it called? Mm, it's a barricade, is it? Um, let's have a look. We've got barrier. J 
junk barricade. That could work. Oh, here we go. A big 10 meter one. This would definitely work. So what I'll do is just get these lined up. As such. Uh, might even put an FIA techie here or something. So uh, they were blue fill, weren't they? Let's go back. Also using my OM units because I like the RH stuff a lot better. So what I'll do is I'll actually place... Oh, they're, they're AAF. What am I doing? I need FIA. FIA OM car. Oh, that's right. I had them as the standard vanilla ones. So that's fine there. I'll chuck this guy down. But I sort of want this just to work as a static turret, so I'm actually going to get rid of the driver. So I'll get him, delete him. Uh, for the sake of it looking cool as well, I'm going to add a fire and some smoke to this one. So how we do that is go to system and go to effects. Just go for the fire module. I might copy paste or control paste a couple there and we'll also go with oh, smoke I don't really use the persistent smoke pillar it's a bit restrictive so I'll go with this smoke here uh, values I like to use for this because I like a really thick black burning smoke is all the colors I put down to one so RGB 111 which makes it quite dark and the alpha color I change up to nine to make it sort of really thick, burning plastic type smoke. You can play around with this. It's up to you what you really want to do. So go nuts with it. You can, you know, particle lifetime is how fast or how long the smoke pillar is going to go for. So how tall it is. I usually keep it default, but that'll do for now. Uh, we'll see this uh, when I actually play it. So that's the basics of our little barricade or roadblock setup. We'll go on to the next mission, which is destroy the mortar pit. So that is going to be over here on this road. Probably the road, I think. That's how this is gonna work. So I'll just place down the module. Now we'll go through it again. Remember, task ID, change the number, title, destroy I like to use capitals for the description or, oh, sorry, the title. I don't know why. Destroy Mortar Pit. And then I, I say it and then I don't do it. Like, what a tard. All right, Destroy Mortar Pit. Very self-explanatory type mission. So I'm going to be, what's, what should the description be to be a bit longer than the title? Um, locate and destroy the FIA mortar pit okay straightforward <coughs> excuse me so that's our description and stuff done sorry i closed it uh i'll actually change the icon to a destroy icon press ok now we'll actually build the objective which is going to be a very very simple one so what i'll do is we will go back to f1 FIAOM, I think it's in artillery. Yes, here we go. So here's the mortars I'm going to be using. Now, just for the sake of dressing this up, I'll put some uh, sandbags around them. So sand, let's have a look. What have we got here? We'll go for sand around. Okay. What I should have done is actually did all of this is one thing and then just copy paste it but copy paste and let's say they rocked up in I don't know an ammo truck to keep them stowed up so it's always good to have a little bit of a background story there so what we'll do FIA OM truck let's say they rocked up in this fella here now Another thing for the sake of performance and stuff, if you just literally want this to be a static object and it's just there for aesthetics, is once you've clicked on it, uh, hold down Alt, 
and press S. And what this does is make it an unsimulated model. So it doesn't have its physics and all of that sort of stuff. Probably wouldn't see overly too many benefits from it. But if you have like a mission where you've got, let's say, 20 of these around the map, you will definitely see an improvement if they're just there to be static objects. So anyway, so that's our little mortar pit setup. Now, for the next mission, it's going to be kill the enemy commander. Now, I'm not going to be boring and put it at like the last house here. I'm going to try find one somewhere in the middle just to sort of make this mission a bit, a bit of a challenge. So let's go with... Let's have a look in here. Is this going to be big enough in here? Yes, I think this will be the perfect building to be our objective building. So I'll just place down the module uh, and it will be kill the, the commander. Okay, so that's the title. I'll also change the task ID, remember, very important. And we'll put here another locate. So locate and kill the enemy enemy hmm, FIA leader for the area. So there we go. Kill the commander, locate and kill the enemy FIA leader for the area, full stop. Now I'll change the task type to, what's a good one? Oh, look, here's the descriptive one, kill and press OK. All right, now we'll set up this little objective. Doesn't matter if these are risen off the ground or not. Like, they're 2D on the map anyway. So, I'm going to have him in this room. But I want to dress up the room just a little bit before I put him in. So, what I'm going to do is put in a table of some description. It's probably a wooden table, maybe. Yep, that'll do. All right. Wooden table. Also, de-simulate it. Let's say a radio. Is there any cool radio models? Misc interior, radio. Nah, probably not that one. Let's have a look. Here we go. A RT254. That will work perfect. Just be like his little commander room. I'm not going to go too nuts. This just looks okay, I suppose. Now, for the commander itself, I'm going to go into FIAOM, men. I think I've got an officer class here. Yes, I do. Place him down. I'll leave him with his pistol. Uh, but what I might do is just change some of the aspects of this dude so he doesn't move. I don't want him to run away. I want him to sort of just hold in this building, let's say, watching that door. So the way that you can change that is to come into officer, double click him, uh, go down to disable AI features. Now there's a list here that you can go through. You can test them if you want. It's completely up to you. But the one I'm going to be using today is to turn off his move. So he'll stay on that spot. He won't move from that position. Okay, so that's the third objective done. But I want to sort of add to this and we're going to sort of harp on back to the tutorial before this and we're going to be making some a marker to sort of describe the area for this objective. So come up to markers. Let's go to ellipse. And I'm going to do the old click and drag to get a bit of a size. Just get it to fit over here. Change the color and the brush. So grid diagonal is blue for, so I'll make it blue. Okay, and again, because I'm super duper spurgy, copy, paste, double click, make it into a border black. And there we go. That should add a bit, little bit more description to this final objective where it says locate and kill the enemy FIA leader for the area.
So, all right, that's our three objectives done. Uh, we're looking pretty sweet. Just for the sake of it, I'll press play just so you can see the fire and smoke modules that we put down. It should load up any second. Well, it's nothing too fancy. I know there's mods and stuff out there that you can use to manipulate particle effects in game a bit more, but we're just here for the basics. So there we go. And you can see a bit of flame down there. Nice black smoke. All right, guys, that's it for episode two. Hope you learnt something from it. I definitely didn't, but, <laughs> but I hope to see you guys in episode three. All right, guys, see you over there.